Hey guys, Stephanie with AmericaMuscle.com here with my review of the Cook Shorted Caddy H-Pipe available for Cook's long tube header equipped 2012 to 2013 Boss Mustangs. So this one's pretty easy as far as who it's going to be for. This shorty H-Pipe is going to be for the Boss Mustang owners that plan on using Cook's long tube headers and want to keep their side pipes. Whenever you go from a shorty or factory header setup to a long tube, you're going to need to change your mid pipe to a shorty mid pipe. Now there really aren't too many options out there when it comes to the Boss Mustang, but Cooks has you covered with this H-Pipe. Long tubes and a shorty mid pipe go hand in hand since you need one to install the other, and usually those installing long tubes are looking for power gains. And speaking of gains, let's break some numbers down first before we get into the mid pipe here. We already ran a baseline run and got some numbers in the book, so we're going to run the car again with the Cooks long tubes and Boss mid pipe installed. And we did pair these mods with a VMP X4 tune because you will need a tune when you switch over to running long tubes. A tune here will not only help you get everything out of these expensive mods, but one of the main purposes of the tune with long tubes is to turn off the rear O2 sensor so you won't be getting a check engine light. Our baseline run with the 2013 Boss gave us numbers of 398 horsepower and 337 foot-pounds of torque at the rear wheels. After installing the long tubes in mid-pipe and throwing the tune on the car, it made 417 horsepower and 353 foot-pounds of torque. That means a peak gain of 19 horsepower and 16 foot-pounds of torque, which are solid numbers considering the gains that you usually see from long tubes. Throughout the curve, we're seeing gains of 23 horsepower at 6,400 RPM, which is what we expected to see, top end gains with the long tube headers. We also saw 26 foot-pounds of torque at 3,500 RPM, which is a nice torque jump in the lower RPMs. I always like to see low end torque gains because they're going to make a big difference in the driving experience. And overall, I'd say that these are solid curve gains that anyone should be happy with. These are on the higher end of numbers that people can expect from adding a catless long tube and mid pipe setup. Now a lot of these gains are from the long tubes in the tune, not necessarily the mid pipe, but you can't run long tubes without the mid pipe. Now that we have the numbers out of the way, we can look more at the mid pipe itself. We're looking at a three inch to two and three quarter inch step down here to work with the Cook's headers and the H-pipe is mandrel bent, 304 stainless steel as well. This is a catted H-pipe like I just said and normally an H-pipe is going to give more of a deeper sound as opposed to the raspier note of an X-pipe. But we are talking about a boss here and this mid-pipe does retain the side exhaust so you'll still have that distinctive quad exhaust out back. The side pipes are unbaffled and the H crossover does create a deep note. The cats are high flow race cats, so they're going to flow more than the factory cats would for sure. And we're going to give you guys a sound clip in a minute so you can hear what this setup sounds like, so hang tight. So this is a different kind of H-pipe that is catted and it's made by Cooks, which is one of the top quality contenders. And we all know that if you want a quality product, you're going to have to pay for it. This mid pipe is no different. It's going to cost right around $750, but I will point out that this is one of the only mid pipe options that keeps the side pipes for the boss. And keep in mind that catted mid pipes or catted pieces of exhaust in general are going to cost more than an off-road version will. Also keep in mind that you won't be running this mid pipe without a set of Cook's long tubes, so you can factor those into the price of this shorty H pipe. These items go hand in hand since you can't install one without the other, which is another reason why long tube headers are an investment. Now with all of that said, the quality of the Cook's option is going to be top notch, and I mean this in terms of materials, fabrication, fit, and performance. We are going to be installing this mid pipe with a set of Cook's headers, so I can speak more about the fitment and the install in a minute, but we all know that Cook's has a solid reputation and the proof is in the pudding. Just take a look at all of the serious race cars that are running Cook's. And you may not necessarily be installing long tubes and a shorty mid pipe for sound, but you are going to get a huge change in sound. The long tubes alone are going to change the sound of your exhaust, and when you combine that with changing the mid pipe, you can expect a pretty big difference in sound here. And you're looking at a brand new sounding pony when you're done. We did grab some sound clips so you can hear what the long tubes will sound like with both a factory cat back as well as with an aftermarket cat back, so take a listen.
So at the end of the day, you're looking at both power and sound gains here. You saw the gains from the dyno, but keep in mind those will change depending on your setup and tune, but you have a pretty good idea of what you can expect here. In addition to that, you're also going to get an awesome change to your exhaust tone. Install of the H-pipe alone is not difficult at all. It's just a basic mid-pipe swap that doesn't involve removing any other items or any cutting. But since you'll most likely be installing this along with the Cook's long tube headers, you can expect a project here. Because of the combo install, you can expect a full three out of three wrenches on this one and a full day in the garage if you do decide to tackle this yourself. If you don't have a helping hand or you don't have much experience in this area, it might be better just to take the car to a shop for the install. If you do tackle this yourself, just know that you can do it on a jack and stands, but a lift will make it easier for sure. Like I said before, the mid pipe is easy enough to install. The difficult part will be installing the headers. You're going to need your toolbox for the install, along with an assortment of different sockets, wrenches, and extensions. You're looking at things like disconnecting the steering shaft, removing the motor mounts, and dropping the cross member for the header portion of the install. A lot of this install obviously requires working in some pretty tight areas, so while everything is straightforward, getting access and maneuverability in these areas is actually tricky. Having a helping hand in this case is really going to benefit you, but at the end of the day, I think this is really worth it. As far as the mid-pipe, it comes in three pieces, so you can start by loosely installing the cap portion of the pipe first. Disconnect the side pipe portion of the factory mid-pipe and install it on the Cook's H-pipe before you get it on the car. But you can do this the other way around as well. Then it's just a matter of lining up the exhaust and tightening everything down and getting your O2s ready to go. So to wrap this up here, the Cook Shorty H-Pipe is going to be a must-have for anyone with a Boss Mustang that's looking at running Cook's long tube headers. It's a full-length stainless steel H-Pipe that comes with high flow race cats and it keeps the side exit exhaust for the Boss, which makes for a very unique sound. As always, you guys can check this mid-pipe out some more online for yourself. I'm Stephanie, and for all things Mustang, keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.